This is humbling. I, I, I'm very proud to be part of the television business and to see um, all of these people being honored and using their uh, celebrity and their their uh, fame to do good. You know, we, we went through four years of uh, of being um, criticized. You know, if if we were celebrities or we were in show business and we were trying to do good, and it was often criticized and marginalized. And so to see people doing such great things is is in, uh, incredible to me. And I, I'm really humbled to be here and very proud to be part of this industry. Um, Justin Hartley, um, I've known Justin now for five years. Um, you know, as somebody that is that gifted, um, somebody who makes all of these things that he does look so easy. Um, his, he's extraordinarily gifted as a comedian. He has an incredible range emotionally for the dramatic work. People tell me he's handsome. Um, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, but I, but I, I think sometimes it's, it, for somebody like Justin, uh, it's, it's easy to um, underestimate um, how deeply he cares about other people um, and how, how he doesn't take his good fortune for granted. He's very humble and he's uh, certainly very modest about the things he does. Um, but he is also an incredibly kind and generous human being. Um, his work is being honored today uh, for the work he does with um, Operation Therapy, which is um, an organization that's committed to helping veterans who um, are, have severe PTSD, um, so severe that many of them are incapable of even uh, approximating uh, returning to their, their former lives. And what Operation Therapy does is it, it puts um, veterans with highly trained service dogs um, and even now um, miniature ponies, I guess. And, uh, and through their relationships with these animals and um, they're able to begin to resume um, functioning in their normal lives. This service is free for them um, and they, they, they keep their pets forever. It's, it's, um, if you're a dog owner and lover like I am and, and I, I know Justin is as well, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really incredible uh, opportunity for them. Um, and it's no surprise given um, given that Justin doesn't take his good fortune for granted and, and how much he cares about other people. And, and it's, it's nice for me to see him being recognized and appreciated um, for the work he does um, because he, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't talk about those things much. He's, he's, he, just, he, just, uh, he just does them. And he's one of the truly special people that I've had the opportunity to work with and, and get to know. So, um, recipient of the uh, Humanitarian Award, um, Justin Hartley. Wow, Ken, I, yeah, we have known each other for five years. That was not expected at all. I, I expected a roast. I thought he was gonna, thought you were gonna go after me. So, the first part of my speech is uh, I gotta skip to the. <laughs> I'm not saying any of those things. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but I but I did I did want you to be here to witness me accepting an award because I <laughs> I know that that's, this just doesn't happen to guys like this. Um, so it's a thriller. Yeah. Uh, so thank you um, and thank you uh, the Creative Coalition for having this lunch. I'm honored to be here. Um, and we're all here to honor those in our industry that use their voices to make a positive difference. At my charity, Operation Therapy, our mission is to help U.S. veterans suffering from PTSD return to the life they had before their service through the use of highly trained service dogs, which we provide to them free of charge. Um, without getting into specific stats of those veterans suffering from PTSD, I'll just say that the numbers are staggering. Um, the access those veterans have to service dogs is nearly nil. Currently, it's less than 10% um, for those ser who served our country to gain access to these dogs who um, are known to work, they help, um, they, they save lives. And so our goal is to, to sort of change that. What we're trying to do is provide 500 service dogs, highly trained service dogs, 
per year to those who otherwise would not have access. Um, through the use of sweepstakes and generosity of, of donors across the globe, we've been able to get closer. But as you all know, one of the most important parts of running a successful charity is awareness. The Creative Coalition, and specifically this event, do just that, does just that. Um, so thank you for having the Humanitarian Awards and helping um, in the effort to bring awareness to charities like Operation Therapy and others. Um, and thank you for giving me this award and giving me the platform um, um, to, um, to, uh, to, to use and, and, and for all of you for, um, for using your platform um, and the voice that you have and the followers that you may have on Twitter and, or whatever it might be to, uh, to advocate for whatever you think is special. Th this room is full of, this yard, this backyard, is full of people that are giving their time or their money or their service or all of the above or any combination of those three. And so a pat on the back to all of you and thank you very, very much. And um, what an honor. One last thing I do want to say though, um, guys, we are two games back with like, what did I say, 15 to go. Go Dodgers, every single game counts. We're just talking about things that are important, right? Yeah. So, all right, well thank you all very, very much. I really appreciate it, thank you.